Gainesville. Traffic just on 10 uniform is turning final, runway 17 for Touch Goes Gainesville. Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you guys a good descent. Down towards the runway, okay? First thing you want to do is come over and catch center line, just like we're doing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add 30 degrees of flaps. All right, so now I'm on center line. My number one aim point, and I cannot stress this enough, is the numbers. I want the airplane to come straight down the numbers like we're just going to pile drive it into the numbers. And then right when we reach the numbers, we want to round out and then continue our, our landing, okay? So there's about 70, 75 on the airspeed. It's good. And if you do a perfect approach, just like this, the runway is just going to appear to be getting larger and larger and larger, okay? So we're just going like this. Got the airplane perfectly trimmed up. Hands off. I can tell I'm sinking a little bit. It's going to pitch up a little bit on the oak. Keeping my power in about 15 or 1600 RPM. And just really focus in on, on those numbers. Just bringing it straight down to those numbers, okay? Maintaining the center line to best of my ability. And just you're just going to pretend I'm, like I'm going to pile drive this thing into those numbers. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit closer. I'm easing a little bit of power out. Power to idle, still continuing to bring it down to those numbers. And then I round out right here. Let the airspeed bleed off. Pull back a little at a time. Get that nose up. And then squeak it on just like that. Okay, yoke's all the way back. Stall warning horn was going off. Okay, let's go around. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys an approach to where if you, how you can tell if you're descending too rapidly on final or you're not descending enough, okay, what the runway is going to look like, okay? All right, so we're rolling on final. Gainesville traffic says the one zero uniform is turning final runway 17 for touch and goes, Gainesville. All right, nice easy bank, about 20 degrees. All right, we're rolling out. Okay, if I'm not descending enough, I put the nose up like that, then the runway is just going to be looking like it's going up underneath me, okay? As you can tell, that's what it's doing pretty much, okay? You can see how it's, it's you know, we're obviously not descending, you know, but by looking outside, I can tell because the run runway is just going up underneath me, all right? The same way if we push the nose down and we descend too rapidly, okay, like that, you can see it looks like the runway is moving away from us, okay? Now, if, if I pitch those numbers just like this, then the runway is just going to appear to be getting larger. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, because you, you guys can see those power lines right there. We don't want to descend like this and end up clipping the power lines. Okay, see how the runway looks? And then what happens, then you're going to have to add all kinds of power like this in order, you know, your airspeed's getting too slow. You're going to have to, you know, go like this. It's going to look terrible. But even if you do recover, just aim straight for those numbers. I can't stress that enough. Aim straight for those numbers, just like we're going to power drive this thing into the ground. Straight to numbers, power to idle. I'm going to round out right here, over the numbers. Lead the airspeed off. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Keep pulling back, just like that. Squeaker on. Okay? No, so,